at least 93 people, including 13 policemen, have been killed in the, violence, in the violent clashes that have broke out broken out between security forces and protesters in Bangladesh. This as thousands took to the streets across the nation, demanding the ouster of Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, following her regime's harsh crackdown on the job quota reforms. Now, apart from Dhaka, at least 15 districts in Bangladesh reported violent clashes on Sunday. The death, the death toll was the highest for a single day from any protest in Bangladesh's recent history, surpassing the 67 deaths reported earlier on the 19th of July when students took to the streets to demand the scrapping of quotas for government jobs. Mohammad Arafat, Bangladesh's Minister of Information and Broadcasting, took to social media to post a video of agitators setting Bangabandhu Medical University Hospital ablaze. Arafat chastised the so-called protesters for engaging in thuggery and violence in the name of a peaceful movement. This as demonstrators blocked arterial highways, demanding Sheikh Hazina to step down. University faculties have proposed an interim government as well. This while the movement has preponed. A long march to Dhaka, earlier scheduled for the 6th of August to today. Now, in the face of clashes, the Home Ministry imposed an indefinite nationwide curfew. Railways and internet services remain suspended amid the ongoing crisis. The Bangladesh government has announced three-day public holiday beginning today. This is the first time Bangladesh government has taken such a step in the face of protests that began last month. Dozens of people have been killed and scores were injured in clashes in Bangladesh on Sunday. Police fired tear gas and lobbed stun grenades as tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets, calling for Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to resign. All the ministers are in hiding. Wait and see how the people will go and surround the Prime Minister's house. If Sheikh Hasina doesn't resign voluntarily, we will take our next step. The Interior Ministry declared an indefinite nationwide curfew starting at 6 p.m. local time on Sunday. It's the first time it has taken such a step during the current protests, which began last month. The unrest is the government's biggest test since deadly protests erupted after Hasina won a fourth straight term in January elections that were boycotted by the main opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party. Critics of Hasina, along with human rights groups, have accused her government of using excessive force to stamp out the movement, a charge she and her ministers deny. Demonstrators blocked major highways on Sunday as student protesters launched a non-cooperation program to press for the government's resignation. After a national security panel meeting, Hasina said those protesting were, quote, not students but terrorists who are out to destabilize the nation. For the second time during the recent protests, the government shut down high-speed internet services, mobile operators said. Some social media platforms were also unavailable. Last month, at least 150 people were killed and thousands more were injured and arrested in violence sparked by demonstrations led by student groups protesting against quotas for government jobs. The protests paused after the Supreme Court scrapped most quotas. But students sporadically returned to the streets last week, demanding justice for the families of those killed.